to YouTube. It's Friday. It's, I think it's something like the 29th or 30th of September 2017. That is the Sekuliak. And um, kind of a special video here. We are uh, in my dad's boat. And uh, we're approaching the NOAA docks cautiously. And that boat right there is a private uh, research vessel. And my nephew, Britton Lee, from Fairbanks, Alaska, who uh, is employed by the University of Alaska at Fairbanks, has done uh, work in that vessel. Uh, he's in the IT world, so probably the uh, university is probably sharing some research, I'm guessing. They didn't tell me. Oh. My dad says it's also an icebreaker boat, so um, they've uh, this boat's been up in Alaska where my nephew has uh, worked on it, and they've been at sea where he's uh, worked on it. I think they've even uh, flown him to different places and got him aboard to do little projects and things that I'm not aware of. So we thought we would do a video while we were out and about. We're actually crabbing right now. We threw the pots out, but we have some time to kill. So we we're taking a little adventure over here to Newport, Oregon at the new NOAA docks. And I uh, thought we'd just do a little video on uh, the boat for my nephew. And I wanted to see it as well. So uh, there it is. I asked my dad just to pull up to the stern and maybe I'd board the boat. He's pretty sure that he'd shoot me, so I guess we can do that because I didn't really want to get shot today. So um, I think these uh, research vessels are kind of tight with security and things like that. They don't really want people nosing around, so they've got a lot invested in their research. And I suspect that's got to pay off to them somehow, some way. But uh, we're getting closer and closer. So far, nobody's. Uh, telling me that I have to shut my camera off or anything, so let's get started. So I get pulled in here uh, yesterday, two days ago, something like that. So I've also heard it's going to move over to the uh, Hatfield Marine Science Dock, which is in the same South Beach Marina complex here. So this is kind of a unique perspective. Uh, seeing the boat on the water, from the water. There you go, Britain. Maybe we'll go run into it, put a scratch in it. So, yep, that's what we put that scratch in there. Oh, look at the draft markers on the side of the boat. So, they obviously can take a lot of weight in there. They've got, I don't know, six, seven, eight feet of draft marked down. So, they're must be very lightly loaded right now because they are sitting high above the water. So. It's cool to think it'd take a, a boat like that to drive out in the seas and be thousands of miles away and how much fuel that would take and you start doing the math on it, it would probably, uh, the thing probably costs tens of thousands of dollars an hour to just to operate. Very interesting. There it is. We are close enough to throw a rock at it. Let's zoom in a little so you can see that. On my phone, you can't see much. But there it is. logo right there. I don't know. I just zoomed out as my smartphone will go. So. Okay, well we're going to end that video there. So, Brenton, we did this little trip just for you, brother. Nah, I wanted to see it too. Anyway, hey, there's some other gawkers. Look at that. So, South Beach Marina and NOAA docks. There's another big vessel over there. That's a NOAA vessel there. So, uh, our government owns that boat. I'm sure they do some uh, interesting research on that that barely costs any money at all, right? There you go. Just a quick view around the, all the different docks and all the different happenings here at South Beach. In the wake, 
trying to stabilize the image as we were rock and roll a little bit. Okay, folks. We'll catch you on the next one.